Okay, so a lot of you guys, like, we're all getting ready to graduate high school, so maybe, like, you're at your dorm or something and, like, you want to be able to, like, smoke something on the smoker. So I'm going to show you guys how today how to make pulled pork, how to prepare it and everything. So I use a pork shoulder. That's what, you, I mean, that's what you use, but... Um, so you're going to open it. And I'm going to do it in here. That way I don't get stuff everywhere. Okay. And then I'm going to put on gloves so that way I don't. So you can use gloves or you don't have to. It doesn't really like matter, but um, so you can either, there's a lot of fat on these, so you can either trim it off or you don't have to and like I've always been taught not to, so I'll kind of show you what we do. Um, we take it and like we score it, so we just cut into it and I'll lift it up and show you guys. So we just do it like that and then there's like cuts in there and you do it on both sides. And then... If you're going to just trim the fat off, you don't take all of it off because if you take all of it off, then like you're not going to have any flavor left to it and you don't have like any moisture or anything left. So then the next thing you do is take mustard, which I know it sounds weird, but if you don't, like none of your seasonings will stay on. And a lot of people think mustard is for the flavor, but it's not. It doesn't do anything. And you're just going to rub it all over. And you really want to make sure to get it down into where you cut the meat at and you're just going to rub it all over and if you don't like mustard it's not like you have to put it on there you can put other things like I know like my mom doesn't like mustard so we put sometimes we'll just put like water or something doesn't really matter. So, and then I'm going to take these off. And then, you can use whatever seasoning, it doesn't matter. I'm going to use Jack's, which is just, yeah. And then, I, we like ours a little sweet, so I put on Sweet honey, maybe. And I don't put it on everywhere, but it's not even going to come out. And then you'll put that on the smoker at 225. And then when it gets to 160, you'll take it off and then wrap it in aluminum foil and put it back on till it gets to 205. And then it takes about two hours for every pound to cook it. And then after that, you take it off and Open the foil up just a little bit, but not all the way. And then you let it rest for about 45 minutes or so. And then you pull it. And there is like a bone in here. And at first you're going to leave the bone in. And then, of course, like when it's done, you take it out. And then, like, so I'm actually, like, we're going to actually cook this tomorrow, like at my house. So what we do is we just take, like, plastic bags. And you have to, like... Make sure they're really tied because it's not like you'll get a lot of moisture in it and you don't want that. And like when, it's like you're going to cook it and then like pull it that day. The easiest thing to do like if you have a lot of it is to um, take like a drill and put like a prong thing on the end of it and put it in like a bucket and drill it, do it like that pull it a lot faster and pull it a lot better too and yeah so i hope one day you'll know how to make pulled pork